Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 12. We're in the uh, top dozen, right? My favorite 31 singers of all time. My favorite vocalist. We're doing it all month long here in August 2024. Today for pick number 12, another guy who's sadly no longer with us, a great American singer that if you kind of really look at his career, maybe doesn't have a lot of albums under his belt, sadly. Uh, but man, did he make an impact when he did on the you know handful of albums that he did appear on. Let me bring to the stage today's pick, pick number 12 from Boston, Mr. Brad Delp, the late, great Brad Delp, who, of course, uh, you know, left us to suicide a number of years back, cutting short a career that, uh, you know, like I said, when you look at the recorded works of Brad Delp on those few Boston albums, and uh, a couple other projects that he worked on, the RTZ and so on. Uh, man, what a singer. What a singer with a super powerful voice and just such a part of the Boston sound that uh, you hear him unmistakable. You know it's him, right? So let's uh, take a look at uh, my three favorite albums featuring his vocals. Kind of a no-brainer. I mean, I think for this, this was one of the easier exercises of this whole month as far as picking the album. So, of course, we got to go with the self-titled Boston debut. Tala doesn't know whether she wants to stay or go. It's like, Daddy, I want to come in. Daddy, I want to go out. Daddy, I want to come in. Daddy, I want to go out. It's, it's... <clears throat> Tala, <clears throat> I have found with Huskies, because this is she's not the first Husky we've had, they don't like when you put up barriers for them. They want free reign to go in and out of whatever room, wherever, whenever they want. They don't want to be told, no, you can't come in here. No, you can't go in there. That's that's totally a Husky thing. Anyway, I digress. Uh, <clears throat> the classic first album, of course. Every song on here is an absolute classic. This is one of the greatest debuts of all time. One of the biggest selling rock records of all time. More than a feeling, peace of mind, foreplay, long time. Rock and roll band, smoke in, hit your ride, something about you. Let me take you home tonight. Ah, powerful, catchy, hard rock songs and that voice. My God, that voice, right? Of course, the second album, Don't Look Back. Kind of the first album, part two. Not quite as good, but still pretty damn good. If there was no first album, this was the, the first Boston record. This would be hailed as a drop dead classic because it's really, really great. Uh, the title track is great. You know, it's easy. Man, I'll never be feeling satisfied. Party, used to bad news. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of love. love. Oh, so good. So good. And Brad's just, I mean, he's just got it. And the funny thing is, <clears throat> here's one of these singers that, you know, all throughout the history of rock music, you have the legends, right? And then you have other younger singers that come up in their wake that maybe have a hint of that person, right? So, I mean, how many singers have we heard over the years that have a little bit of Paul Rogers, that maybe have a little bit of Robert Plant, that have a little bit of Peter Gabriel, they have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of Coverdale, right? All these classic singers. Have you ever heard anybody who sounds like Brad Delp? <clears throat> I mean, no. He's one of a kind. Absolutely one of a kind. Just so unique vocal style. And he didn't sound like anybody who came before him, and nobody sounded like him since. Uh, next up, I'm going to go with Third Stage, third Boston record. You know, Amanda, Holly Ann. I think he's so great on Holly Ann. Holly Ann, I was considering for my favorite vocal performance. It's just really good. But man, you know, to be a man, we're ready. Cool the engines, my destination, you know, the, the soaring, powerful stuff, the more the mellower, more ballad -y stuff. I mean, he can sing it all. Just like this is a guy who can sing the phone book, right? What is my favorite vocal performance, you might ask? Well, again, tough because uh, arguably could pick anything off of this first album because he's just so incredible on here. But I'm going to go with a song that's uh, one of my favorite Boston songs. I think it's one of their most underrated tracks. And I think the reason why it's so great is because of Brad Delp. And I love the fact that he, again, if you've noticed this trend throughout this whole series here this month, I tend to really like songs where a singer shows every little facet of their game all within one song. And that one song for me for Mr. Brad Delp is A Man I'll Never Be off the second album. 
which to me, you know, it's it's kind of a ballad. It's also a rocker. The slow build, man, he does the gentle, melodic, more emotional stuff in the song. And then the soaring, soaring highs right towards the end. Oh, just so good. And uh, it's one of those songs that, uh, like, you know, if I ever, like, I'm at the gym and I decide I'm going to move to here, Boston, and I decide to play this album and A Man I'll Never Be comes on, I will go back and listen to it two to four times at least at minimum never just once and it's just so good and i just have to kind of sit i could be you know pumping some iron or i could be on the elliptical or you know walking laps around the track or whatever it might be and i just like and everything else i tune out when a man i'll never be comes on man i'm there with brad and i'm just feeling it i'm feeling that emotion just like i did all the way back in what was this 1978 right i mean just a long time ago you know, 46 years ago, right? It's crazy. But um, yeah, so that's my pick. A Man I'll Never Be off of Don't Look Back. But of course, the the three albums you got to have for Brad Delp are these three. Like I said, that RTZ album is pretty damn good on there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, not a lot of other like full albums featuring Brad other than that. Uh, that's kind of the sad thing. You know, he kind of pops up here and there on other Boston records and, you know, Tom's got tapes and stuff of Brad singing from way back when that he's used in, you know, more recent Boston albums, even after Brad was no longer with us. That's just kind of bizarre. But, um, you know, the, sadly, we don't have a lot of <clears throat> recorded output from Brad Dell. But, man, like I said, those handful of albums he did appear on, pretty special stuff there. So, yeah, that's my pick for today. Let me bring it back to the stage. <clears throat> the late, great Mr. Brad Delp, Pipes of Doom. What a what an amazing voice. What a talented singer. Uh, sadly, like I said, he's no longer with us. But, uh, I, you know, I could just imagine if he was still around. Uh, I would love hearing him singing with, like, Barry Goodrow and Barry's band. Um, you know, because getting Tom to do a Boston record, that's, that takes like a, that's like a decade and a half for each album, right, at least. But, um, yeah, Brad Delp, he's, he's missed one of the greats. And uh, let us know what you think of him down in the comments below, as well as your pick for today. Pick number 12, and we'll see you tomorrow for number 11. This is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. We'll see you soon here with more stuff got coming up this week. Uh, we should have a pretty busy Wednesday uh, what's new at Sea at Tranquility Day? New album reviews should have a whole bunch for you. They're already a bunch of them are loaded on the site. Should have a few more. So uh, stay tuned for that. Please go check out some uh, some of the new music we're talking about here. You might find your new favorite album. And uh, Thursday's Monsters Day. Friday morning at the Fun House with Martin Popoff. We got the Professor's Pick. Saturday's UK Connection. Sunday ranking the albums of Anthrax. So lots coming up. Stay tuned for all of it. I am P. Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon here. Of course, number 11 coming at you tomorrow. Hopefully you got your list ready. Get your list ready for next month because we're going to do this exact same thing all over again, except with guitar players, right? So uh, we'll see you then starting September 1st. Till then, IP Pardo, enjoy your Tuesday, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.